Steve Weatherford here again, the bus whisperer, bus doctor, bus whatever. Uh, working on the bus, getting ready to take a trip. Uh, some of you have been curious about my Fuel Pro 380, 382 system I've installed to take the place of my uh, fuel filter canister systems at spin ons. This is the filter, and we're going to change this today. We start by opening up the engine compartment naturally, and if you'll notice in here, this unit has taken the place of the two spin-ons. One used to be mounted here, one was mounted below. Here's the bracket, it just welds on where the place where the filter was. Real simple little spot weld. Comes with everything you need, the bracket, it mounts right in. The hoses, you take the place of your secondary and your primary. If you look right here, you see where the primary or the secondary used to be, and it's been tied together. Going back into the fuel pump. Simple, simple hookup, use all your existing hoses, just put a T on it. This is the filter element. If you notice, this one's full, or it has been, when it starts up, the fuel level goes all the way to the top. This is an incredibly easy filter to change. $15 for the element, you only need one. You can visually see it and show you how it comes, also comes with the O-rings. So what you start with, have a little jug. You take the jug, go to the bottom of the canister, open the valve until the fuel level goes down below where your ring is would be right about there. You don't necessarily want to use that because it could have water or something in it. And that is also a water separator. Then you take filter housing, spin it off, lift it up, set that gently to the side. Ooh, that's gently. Reach over and gently lift your canister off. Let's do into that. Take your new canister. Set it down into the hole. Like so. And then take the O-ring off. Find the O-ring there. There we go. Now we're talking. Yes, I like to line mine up where they're pretty too. Screw the canister on. You get it nice and snugged up. Take a rag. Okay. Okay, the next thing you do to prime these is you unscrew the cap on the top. Like so, little cap. Take some fresh fuel. You take the fresh fuel and you pour it in the filter, like so. There's your self priming function. Take your cap, put a new O-ring on it. And uh, it down, look for leaks. See if you got any leaks. Apparently I might have one, I got a little bubble there. Not sure what that is, probably air coming off the filter. See that little air leak there? I want to wait for that to stop. You, know, you just put this cap on, screw the cap down, tighten it up. And that's pretty much all there is to the Fuel Pro 380.